Welcome to the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Believers often face the challenge of choosing between various commitments. Today's scripture readings underscore the significance of prioritizing these obligations and identifying the essential guidelines for making the right choices. Our theme is the right commitment. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, and others say Elijah, and others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ. And he charged them to tell no one about him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he said this plainly. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not on the side of God, but of men. And he called to him the multitude with his disciples and said to them, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel passage, known as Peter's Confession, constitutes a turning point in Jesus' life. Before this event, Jesus was primarily concerned with manifesting the kingdom of God by performing deeds of power such as casting out demons and healing the sick. However, these good and noble acts were neither the reason for his coming into the world nor the purpose of his mission. Seeing Jesus' wondrous deeds, the people considered him one of the prophets or someone equal to John the Baptist or Elijah. In this context, Jesus decided to clarify his identity and mission to the disciples by asking, Who do you say that I am? Responding, Peter correctly identified Jesus as the Messiah. This answer was correct but insufficient because there were many divergent opinions about who the Messiah would be and what he would accomplish. To clarify this ambiguity, Jesus spoke about his suffering, rejection, death, and resurrection for the first time. His messianic mission was to conquer death by going through death into life. His frank and open acknowledgement that a cruel death lies ahead must have been difficult even for Jesus, who after all, was a real human being. It also implied that Jesus had to accept and commit himself to the terrifying prospect of crucifixion, while confident in the resurrection certainly gave him strength as a human being. He still must have been afraid of the future ahead. Peter reacted to Jesus' disclosures with understandable upset and denial. He had other ideas about Jesus' purpose and sought to turn Jesus away from the chosen path. It is the only way to life. For this reason, he came into the world and made 
the right choice, committing himself to the project. By trying to change Jesus' mind, Peter was standing in the way of God's plans. Jesus also indicated that those who wish to be his disciples must, like him, embrace the path of self-sacrifice, the path to enduring life, to salvation, follows the trial laid by Jesus himself. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you.